still the only one that feels like home. Yes, I'm in my bathroom. It's the only place I can do it. Hello everybody. It feels like forever since I have done a video. The reason for this is because as you know, I had my surgery and well, setting up a tripod and a camera is kind of hard when you can't walk properly. And because it took so much time off school, I just was attacked with assignments. I have been stressing out, man. So because I've been away for so long, I decided to do a Q&A video. I asked you to leave some questions on my Instagram, so let's get started. I've only chosen 10 because there are so many and if I did them all, then we'd be here all day. Okay, number one is what was it like after your surgery? For those of you who don't know, here's a link to my last video which shows my surgery and what was going on. So if you have no idea what this is about, click on it now. But after my surgery, to be honest, it was really, really hard. I honestly forgot how to walk. I was like a mess for the first two weeks. Especially the first few days when I got home, I literally just sat there and I looked at mum and I was like, I can't do this, I, I can't do it. But after a few more days and I was kind of like, oh yeah, okay, I can do it. Rehab is actually starting to kick in. If you're going through rehab, you kind of just have to accept the fact that it is going to take a long time. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Um, whether it's through public speaking, YouTube, Instagram. Deep down, I want to be able to say in five years that I've inspired people to do something their lives I guess. So no matter what job I have, as long as I'm inspiring people, I'll be happy. Do a cartwheel. Yeah, because I can do a cartwheel. First words. I know my first word, which was putt. What were you most scared about going into surgery? Um, waking up in the middle of surgery. What do you want for your birthday? I want a laptop. I want a new laptop because the school laptops are pretty crap and <laughs> no offense. But my birthday is in two weeks, just to let you know. 18th of June, don't forget it. I'm expecting a present. What age did you start playing netball? Um, I think it was eight turning nine. Favorite childhood show? The Teletubby. I love them so much. Tinky Winky, Dipsy, La La, Ho! Teletubbies, Teletubbies. If you had to be a boy for a day, what would you do? I'd go to a boy's bathroom. I'd go up to pretty much every guy friend of mine and just talk to them about anything I've ever wondered what is going through a male's brain. Because guys say different things to girls, does that make sense? They'd give you a different answer. Does that make sense? I don't know how to put that. And the last one is biggest lie you've ever told. <laughs> Yeah. When I was about eight years old, I had like a front fringe. I was sitting in the lounge room and I had a pair of scissors and I decided that my fringe was too long. And my dad caught me. And he walked in and he's like, Samantha, what are you doing? And I was like, nothing. And I was like kicking the hair under the chair. And I put the scissors down the couch. And he's like, are you cutting your hair? No, why would I do that? And he walked over to me and he found the hair under the couch and the scissors and I was shoving down the couch. And I was grounded for a week. Two weeks. I think it was two weeks. So that brings us to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. I have a lot of videos planned for the next few weeks so I shall get them up on time instead of a month later. Big news! This week is formal. Yes, I'm filming a formal video for you guys to see. Comment below what colour you think my dress is. Subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on my social media sites, which are Instagram and Twitter. Do it. Not even self-promo. Adios. Adios! Adios. <laughs>